morning friends um happy monday happy new weekly vlog um let's very quickly discuss how i'm an idiot um <laughs> and how i fully was on the clown street with everyone else yesterday in the swifty fandom if you don't know everyone and their mother was just convinced that she was gonna announce reputation taylor's version last night and um you know what she didn't and i was one of them and i feel very stupid today for getting on the clown train um but you know what it's fine um we are currently getting ready for the day. Um, I have physical therapy today for my back. It is my first physical therapy appointment, so it's like fucking hour long. And you might be like, Dorothy, why are you curling your hair to go to physical therapy of all places? Um, it's because I have to work like immediately after. So like I have to still look presentable. So. That would be why. Um, I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm nervous about physical therapy. I don't know how it would work, how it's gonna work for a back, considering I've only ever had physical therapy for my knees and my ankle. Because your girl has bad knees. Um, so I don't exactly know what to wear. To then also go to work right after so you know who knows who freaking knows um happy christmas time because it is indeed christmas time it's no longer thanksgiving so i can fully christmas myself out i'm very excited um in case you guys didn't know, Christmas, my favorite holiday. I feel like it's everyone's favorite holiday at some point in their lives. Um, I used to be very adamant about you don't decorate for Christmas. You don't listen to Christmas music until like after Thanksgiving. But as I've gotten older, that's just changed because like I want to enjoy the Christmas cheer um okay like do i need to yeah no we're gonna have to well i guess not i was gonna try to maybe pin up the bangs while i do the rest of this but it's fine um so but now in my old age of 25 um we we allow christmas whenever we feel like it because you know it's it's christmas time and you know sometimes you don't get to have a lot of joy so i just you know sometimes you gotta let yourself have that joy and if that means celebrating christmas before thanksgiving so be it it's always hard to tell how the bangs are gonna do sometimes the bangs are like yeah we'll cooperate and sometimes they don't want to but it looks like they're gonna cooperate today so works for me um i do have a raging headache this morning i'm pretty sure it's a caffeine headache so i have been drinking in alani new um which i had in the fridge it was my emergency out of coffee and you know what it, it's an emergency i'm out of coffee so yeah. additionally I got my nails done yesterday. We're ready for Christmas with the red. I was really torn between these and um, some white ones because I was like, oh, you know, to inspire the snow. So I had my boyfriend help me and he picked the red. So we will... 
We will be red nailing for most of uh, Christmas time. I like to wait a hot second before I brush them out because um, I am gonna brush them out because they're a bit in your face. Um, reading plans, let's go this way. Our reading plans for this week. Number one, gotta finish Collide um, by Ball Kabara, I think it is. I'm just gonna teach you a little bit. Ah, that I don't really have to bend. Oh, now I'm an angel. This week, reading wise, we need to finish Collide. We. Mm, do I have green leggings? I do. Perfect. Beautiful. Um. When you finish Collide, Betting on You comes out tomorrow. So we're I have a hold for the ebook and for the um audiobook from the library. So I'm hoping that those are gonna come in. Yeah, that's our fit for the day. I'm gonna throw on the t-shirt though. Um so we're gonna read Betting on You. Um and then on Friday, we're starting our 25 books in 25 days challenge. And um, I haven't decided my TBR for that yet. Um, I want to read some YA. I want to read some hockey. I want to read some Christmas. So I think today we'll make that decision. But I must get ready. So I will see you guys. I'm drive to physical therapy. Remember how I was like, oh, it's when it's Christmas time? Dude, I fucking hate the snow sometimes. Especially when it makes ice freeze overnight on my car. And then I have to scrape the shit out of my car, which hurts my back. Anyways, Miss Taylor Swift also just um, told everyone that she's releasing the heirs to her movie on streaming on her birthday so good for me i'm gonna go snag a coffee and get to physical therapy i've arrived i'm just early now so i have to wait oh fuck someone's gonna pull in next to me don't do it don't do it leave are you backing into that spot because if you are you did a terrible job don't hit my car don't hit my car Good God. Anyways, hi. I've arrived at my appointment, but I'm early. They said not to arrive until 8.15. It's 8.06. So we're just going to sit in the car for a hot minute. Um, Ice white chocolate mocha, toffee nut, caramel drizzle, delicious. And it was free because I had so many points. Oh, one of the books that we're reading in December is going to be Icebreaker because we're going to do a little buddy read of it, but with all the Discord babes, um, because we were talking about it. Um, Alyssa on the Discord has never read it. So first of all, hi, Alyssa. Second of all, she's never read Icebreaker. And Naeli and I were like, oh my God, you have to read it. And then we both went, well, we wouldn't mind rereading it. So we're for sure. <gasps> if I reread Icebreaker, I'm going to annotate the shit out of it because when i read it originally i didn't have a physical copy of it i just had um because it was on kindle unlimited i need to message them about that buddy read so yeah okay i guess it's nearly time for my appointment i don't want to do this fun fact about dorothy she hates going to the doctor the fact that i even went to the doctor for my back in general, round of applause for me. Because I, if it hadn't been the third time that it's happened this year, I don't think I would have gone. But because it was the third time it's happened this year, I had to. Because my boyfriend was going to scream at me if I didn't. Because he was like, you have to fix this. But I just hate going to the doctor. I have such anxiety around the doctor, the dentist. I just always am worried I should bring that up in therapy. That should be something we should analyze. Okay, anyways, I'm gonna go to my appointment. I'll check in with you after it's done. Let's go. We know what's wrong with my back. 
Love to see it. I have a disc problem. Fun. We love having a disc problem. Um, so, the physical therapist said that the problem is that I have a disc that has, so, this is hard to explain. Um, so I've pulled ligaments in my ankle like a billion times and like you just brace it and then it gets better. However, you can't put a brace on a disc in a back because I've apparently pulled ligaments in my back, specifically around a lower back disc, which is why anything can set it off. So now we get to have the most lovely time um, doing some exercises, going to PT a lot. So I have physical therapy on Wednesday. I have physical therapy next week. I have physical therapy the week after that. I got PT up the wazoo, guys. Um, just to make sure, because he wants to see me at least twice a week to make sure that like progress is being made. So hooray for that. Um, so yeah, we have a disc ligament thing course I have a disc ligament thing um he at least said that my legs are strong but my knees are not <laughs> so fun for me okay I'm gonna go to work now and <laughs> just laugh at the fact that I've I apparently could just pull a ligament anywhere <sighs> okay let's let's go I hate winter it's so cold I, I guess I gotta start preparing the scarves and the gloves and the 14 layers because holy shit, my face is frozen. Hello. Good morning. Happy Tuesday. You've joined me for a quick thumbnail creation for the weekly vlog this morning, which is going up at 10 a.m. And if you're wondering why I didn't just make it last night, I always wait until the next day. Um, just to make sure that, you know, the vlog got uploaded. There she is. And if you're wondering what I use, I use Canva because that is the way of life. And now we're gonna pick up our handy dandy laptop real quick. And the weekly vlog is all set to go now. Today, I don't got much going on. Um, just work pretty much. I'm going to be finishing up Collide uh, while I'm at work. I did not get my hold on betting on you yet. So I'm really hoping that that comes through during the work day. Otherwise, I'm really going to have to change my November Raids graphic. Um, so we're going to finish Collide. We're going to um, check... Keep an eye on the Libby. See if we can, you know, scrounge together a hold of betting on you. Um, and we're just going to get the day going. So we're going to finish Collide today. If I don't get my betting on you hold, I'm not sure what I'm going to start. So we'll have to do a little, little peeky peek. Um, ooh, I could start Love Ray Design. That could be the move. Um, so now I'm going to get ready for work. I will see you guys on the way to work after I put myself together. All right? All right. <laughs>
I'd like to reject the cold. Look, I'm a marshmallow. Can't tell me I'm not. I look ridiculous. I'm cold. Okay, let's go get dinner and then the boyfriend and I are gonna watch a YouTube video about a FNAF review because that is still my weird hyperfixation of life. <laughs> Do I look a mess? Yeah, I'm just a floating head at this rate. Jesus Christ. Do I look a mess? Yes, I think this is up too high. There we go. Hello. Good morning. Happy Wednesday. I look a mess. I'm tired. Have I finished Collide? No. My hold for betting on you also hasn't come in, so I'm going to finish Collide today, though. Because I'm going to be doing a lot of sitting and stuffing of uh, textbook tags. So, let's get, why do I have anything to update you on? Not really. I have physical therapy today. So, that would be fun. Have you ever thought about the fact that Taylor Swift is a genius songwriter? And that the fact that she wrote and started her career at like 13 is insane and we will never be able to have anyone compare. Have you ever thought about that? I don't think you have. I don't think you have. I just don't think you have. Is this the ramblings of a mad woman? Yes. And it's not just, it's not just the songwriting. It's the melodies and the production to emulate a previous song that she had already released. And if you're like, Dorothy, what's your favorite Taylor Swift song? The hands down answer is You Are In Love because that song was perfect and I love that song. But then if you, if you played me any song, <laughs> I could make an argument for it being my favorite. No, but we don't have this issue when it comes to Five Seconds of Summer. Because my favorite song by Five Seconds of Summer is Ghost of You. And it will always be Ghost of You. Because that song is perfect. But yet, I could be convinced that my favorite Taylor Swift song is not my favorite Taylor Swift song. Who knows? Anyways, I need to get ready for work. I'm too tired to function. Anyways, bye. See you later. Happy Wednesday. Okay, let's begin our trek. Um, I'm going to stop at the gas station so I can get myself some breakfast and well, it is a coffee. God, it just feels like it's not getting any warmer. Which is fair because it is, it is winter. It's 19 fucking degrees outside. God damn it. So yes, like I said this morning, I have not yet finished Collide. I'm going to do that today. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have my iPad in front of me and I'll be reading whilst I do the monotonous task of stuffing our textbook tags. So fun for me. Let's go. Oh, I should take my wallet out. Eh? That would be helpful. Let's go get our little, our little girl, girl boss. I don't know. We're on our way to physical therapy. Hopefully very fast. Have about 10 minutes to get there, so. Because I'm stupid and wanted to finish what I was doing before I left. So, now we must do a Zoom. Anyways, I have reading updates! Who, who would have thought, you know? Who would have thought in this weekly reading vlog I would have reading updates? Certainly not me. Um, anyways, the reading update is that I finished Collide and I'm giving it a 4.5. Yes, but ladies and gentlemen, that, well, and non-binary pals, that is correct. We have a new fave hockey romance. Woo! It was so good. I really enjoyed it. I don't think I really talked about it that much because like I was just vibing um but genuinely it's so insanely good the writing is good the dynamic between Summer and Aiden is good the the smart the smart the 
the smut, it do be smutting. And you know what? That's what we that's what we want to see. You know, that's what we want to see from our hockey romances and from our romance in general. We want to see the smut be smutting. And guess what? It was Aiden. Aiden Crawford. Whew, a hot late addition to the fictional men of 2023. I will say. Oh my God, that man. Woo. He was good. He was good. You can't tell me that he wasn't good. Because guess what? Bro was. Um, And then, you might be like, oh my God, she finished a book. She probably didn't do anything else. Ha! That's why you're wrong, friends. I started a cross-country Christmas. I don't remember who it's by. It could be Courtney Walsh. That sounds right, but I don't fully know. So don't quote me on that, but it sounds right. So I'm gonna go with it. Um, which is my next Christmas romance that I am reading for the next episode of Christmas Romances. And I'm enjoying, you know, it's brother's best friend, which is always a good time in this house. Cause you know me, we love about the brother's best friend there and also an added bonus that I've just discovered he's a baseball coach even when I'm not trying sports romances they're coming to me they're just coming to me um so yes I started that I have no clue how far I am in it couldn't tell you not for one second um I could be 30 percent I think I'm 30 maybe 25 25 sounds more accurate because last time I looked I was at 21 so um and I'm enjoying it I like the dynamic I would like to know what happened between Lauren and Will that makes Lauren so upset I have yet to learn that so I'm excited to learn that um and yeah the vibes are vibing and I'm enjoying and you know that's all we can ask for. I, my betting on you hold has still not come in, so I'm gonna for sure have to, fit, to fix that graphic, but it's fine. Tomorrow's the last day of the month, so maybe, just maybe, I will squeak out finishing a cross-country Christmas before the month ends. How wild would that be? If I just squeaked her on out of there? It's possible. I've done, I've done less chaotic things. And I've done more chaotic things. You know, like read the entirety of A Court of Silver Flames in one day. I still can't believe I did that shit. Anyways, we're about to be at physical therapy in probably about two minutes. It's cutting it close. Appointments at 445. It's currently 441. So, you know, that's all I got for ya. Wish me luck in finishing a cross-country Christmas before I go to bed tomorrow. I can probably do it. It's not an exorbitantly long one. And if I'm already 25% of the way through, you know, you know, it's probable that I can just knock her out of the park. I don't know what that was. I also don't know what my face did. We're not going to talk about it. I'm going to go to physical therapy and hope that my physical therapist is like, solid, you did it. And I can be like, great, thanks, bye. Anyways, I must go. We, we've rambled too much and I need to focus. Okay? Okay. Love you. Love you too, Dorothy. Thanks, guys. Bye. And I wouldn't marry me either. A pathological people pleaser that only wanted you to see her. And I'm fading, thinking, do something, babe. A brilliant song. Hold on, this is gonna suck. Winter. Um, hi, happy Thursday. In case you couldn't tell, yesterday, Miss Taylor Allison Swift put You're Losing Me on Streaming. Woo! In case you couldn't tell, I'm really excited. I listened to it at least five times yesterday. And then once this morning. I have a problem. It's fine. Um, 
No way surprised. <laughs> We're not. Um, okay. We have updates. We have reading updates. I know. Who am I? What have I done with myself? The reading update is that I completely finished a cross country Christmas last night. Just fully read the whole last thing. I gave it three stars. Um, it's fine. Very middle of the road. If you know how, like, you know how some books are just, you know, meh. Like, it wasn't terrible. It wasn't brilliant. It was just a middle of the road book. And that's how that felt. Um, but you know, it's fine. I enjoyed it. I was shocked that there wasn't any smut because I thought there was going to be smut, but there's no smut. So if you don't enjoy a romance without that, not for you. Um, I enjoyed under, like, you know, I, I, I enjoyed the overall story. It just, you know, it wasn't, you know, it wasn't the right move. Which is terrible to compare things to because nothing will ever be the right move. But you understand that five star energy that I'm talking about. So, um, yeah, I give it a three stars. It's it's overall fine. Um, which means that I have read eight books this month. Um, I am going to start a new book today because um, I'm just going to be sitting there continually stuffing shelf tags for our textbooks. Um, so, like, I don't, if I don't do something with my brain, I'm going to go absolutely insane today. So I am going to be reading a book. I don't know if I'm going to finish it, but that's okay because it is a short book and then I can finish it tomorrow knock out a book for our um, 25 days and 20 25 books in 25 days uh, which is still wild that I'm doing such a thing um, but um, I'm going to be starting Night Shift by Annie Crown this is a book on Kindle Unlimited it is also published by uh, Wattpad Books so I'm a little bit nervous about it because I often uh, stay away from anything published by Wattpad Books because I get nervous that it will read like bad fanfic. Um, and in case you didn't know, big One Direction, Five Seconds of Summer fan, we were all about the fanfic in good old 2014 to 2016. So I've read my fair share. I know what a good fanfic reads like. And 90% of the time, a Wattpad story was not it. You want the good shit, which is on archive of our own. Or sometimes you get really lucky and you find a really good Tumblr. Um, but anyways, so that's why I've stayed away from it. But I keep seeing this book on TikTok. I know that the female main, main character, like, works at the um, library on their campus. Nayeli gave this book a three star, but a five star in smut. So I have just a little bit of hope that it's gonna be a decent read. Um, so yes, we will get to that today. Um, God, this one is so bright. I need to post my December TBR today which I have at the ready. I might go in and edit it a little bit and add some books because I think there are, because I've agreed to do a couple of buddy reads um, with a few people. So, with a few people, two people. I've literally agreed to two people and both buddy reads are with them. What am I? Anyways, um, in December, I'm buddy reading Icebreaker with Nayeli and Alyssa and then we are also buddy reading Love Light Farms by Miss BK Borison which I'm very excited about and uh, oh right buddy reading Love Light and Icebreaker both are rereads for me um Alyssa hasn't read Icebreaker before 
So, um, Nayeli and I are bullying her into it by offering our, um, support. And we're not bullying. I realize I just said bullying. That's a strong word. We're not bullying her. We are highly suggesting she read this freaking book so she can be on the Nate Hawkins train. And she's agreed as long as we buddy read it with her. And I was like, I wouldn't mind buddy reading it because I think I'm due for a reread of the beautiful story that is Icebreaker. So, yeah, it wasn't hard to get me to agree to that. Anyways, I've arrived at work. It's time to go. When it's time to go. Another great Taylor Swift song. Okay, I shall love you and leave you. See you later, alligators and wild crocodiles. Oh, let's just clear off the frost there. And I'll check in with you after work. Anything going on after work? I have to get food for Finn. No one let me forget about the food for Finn. I'm just gonna set a reminder. I need to leave. Number one, we're done with work. Number two, I'm heading to my car right now. Oh shit, I should start my car actually. Hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. There we go. Um, I started a hockey romance. I didn't start the book I said I was gonna start. Fully started a hockey romance. And I'm already 20% in. And I feel like I could probably finish it tonight when I go home and I just sit there and read. Who am I? What have I done with me? Who's this reading fiend? We've never seen her before. I don't know who she is. That's not true. We saw her in March of last year when she read 12 books in one sitting. Not in one sitting. In one month. Anyways, I gotta go get food for fiend. So I will check back in with you later. Good morning. We are currently getting ready for the day. Um, reading update. I think I mentioned this last night while I was walking to my car, but I can't remember. Um, I started Iced Out by Veronica Eden yesterday at work. Um, it is a, wait for it, hockey romance. Are we surprised? Absolutely not. Um, it is a rival's sister romance. And I'm very much so enjoying it. I'm enjoying Easton. I'm enjoying Maya. I'm enjoying the vibe. It's also pretty short. Well, it's not too short. It's just a little over 300 pages. So should be able to finish it today. I know yesterday I said, oh, I should probably be able to finish it tonight when I go home. Well, here's the thing. When you apparently are you know, carrying books and moving things all day. And then you go to the grocery store and get cat food. To, and then you carry that through the grocery store and you have a back problem. It apparently really hurts because I got home yesterday and 
there was, there was nothing I was do. I couldn't do shit yesterday after I got home. I was in pain. Just pain. I was in pain. Um, which sucked because I was supposed to go get gelato with Faith. And I couldn't because I was in pain. <sighs> which sucks because, like, not only did it mean I have to cancel plans because I'm, you know, unable to move, but, like, I was really feeling good after physical therapy yesterday. Like, I didn't really have too much soreness in my back during the day. And then all it took was carrying cat food, and then I was like, oh. Great. So... I was a little defeated about that. Today is indeed December 1st, which means we are now in our reading challenge era, which <laughs> I'm in general nervous about because like, I just don't know how my brain is going to cooperate. Um, will it become slumpy and then I can't do anything? Will it make me not want to read every day? You know, there's just so many things that my brain could decide for me that we just won't know until, until it happens. Once I finish Iced Out, I will be starting um, Crimson River by Miss Debney Perry herself um, because Sable Peak is coming out next week and I would like to, I didn't read Crimson River when it came out. So we're going to read that next. There's going to be a nice little reading vlog for it. Um, but that won't come until after Sable Peak is out because I'm just going to combine them because obviously they're the same series. So. And someone commented on my Instagram post yesterday because I posted my December TBR and said that the opening of Crimson River made them cry. So. Can't, can't wait for that, I guess. What do you think? Also, like, I don't know if this is a thing for anyone else because, like, it's hard for me to determine sometimes if things are hyperfixation for me or if it's just me, like, being weird. But, like, do you ever just have, like, a song by your favorite artist that, like, becomes your favorite for, like, a little bit and you're obsessed with it and you have to listen to it and then, like, the next day it's a different song could that be me because as you all know um i was rightfully losing my mind over no that didn't do anything i was rightfully losing my mind over taylor swift releasing you're losing me on streaming because like obvious reasons that song is superior that bridge is superior. Um, but then yesterday while I was at work and I was DJing, the other side of the door from Fearless TV came on and I've had the outro stuck. I don't know the words to the outro even, but I've just had the outro melody stuck in my head, like nonstop since I listened to it and it's really like blowing my mind like I feel like I'm gonna have to listen to it in the car there's just I think there's crack in there I do I think there's crack in there I'm not able to sprint tonight because we have our lovely wrestling night tonight um which I'm very excited for Which I'm very excited about because um, we haven't seen our friends um, in a hot minute, like I said before. Oh, 
Something about this hairstyle makes me feel like a princess every time I do it. I don't know what it is, but it's giving princess. I think it's just this curl on my shoulder is giving princess. I don't know. Also, Finn scratched my nose. Okay, it's time to get dressed. Let's go. Hello, number one, I'm like 70% through iced out. So like reading to wrestle, reading on the way home from wrestle, and hopefully then immediately finishing the book when I get home, I will have finished my first book. <sighs> Hopefully. Second, I'm so excited to go to wrestling. It's not even funny. I'm like shaking in excitement. Um, and number two, I feel so cute in my outfit. I feel just good. It's a good time. It's a good day. I'm heading home to go to the man's and then we're going to go to the wrestle. I haven't had friend time in a hot second, so I'm excited. Anyways, I must go now. Goodbye. Happy Saturday. Sorry, they were playing Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays on the uh, the radio when I started my car. Um, hi, hello, good morning. Uh, um, happy Saturday. I do have an update, a reading update. I know it's baffling. Um, the reading update is that, um, Wrestling went so long last night that I uh, I didn't finish Ice Out, but have no fear, everyone. We had a manga in the back pocket just in case, and I read Fangirl Volume Three last night um, on the drive on the drive on the drive home, giving it a nice four point five stars. Um, in case you don't know, and I don't think I've really talked about it that much, Fangirl by Rainbow Rowell is one of my all-time favorite books, like, to ever exist. Um, Kath is literally me, and I have never felt so seen by a book before, and, um, I adore Levi and Kath and, like, pretty much everybody that's in there. So, I really enjoy the book, and I've been a little bit hesitant about reading the manga just because you know I it's it's a perfect book to me I won't lie to you it's a perfect book to me um but the manga is bringing like a visual depiction of them to life and I'm really enjoying it uh the third volume I would say is taking it's about like a 50 like it's 50 percent of the way through thing like the original book and it's really good um so i'm giving it 4.5 because it's not the best kath and levi moments it's getting to them and um once those kath and levi moments are coming i can't wait but um the uh You get to see more about Kath's brain, essentially, and her anxiety and her fears and just in general, like, how she's handling being at college and away from her dad and understanding that, you know, people, when they grow up, they kind of change a little bit and she's scared about that. So I just really, really intensely enjoy seeing that on a page so the 4.5 for fangirl volume 3 today i will be finishing iced out um so i only have 30 percent of it left so i should be able to do that no problem once i'm done with work today which i will be done at 2 30 so that gives me plenty of reading time i will be sprinting over on the discord um at about 3 30 today because um we got number one it's the first weekend of december we gotta kick off our holly jolly spring miss but um number two if i don't do sprints i'm not going to read so that's that's the trade-off um we are pulling into work
shit. She's caught me being affectionate. It's nighttime snuggle time. She's pouring up a stone. If you hear the sounds of a cat eating, that would be Finn. It is dinner time for him and he is eating. Um, I'm coming to you on this lovely Sunday with two, count them, two reading updates. I know, who is she? Is this a weekly reading vlog or is it a weekly reading vlog? Who would have thought? How many books have I read this week? Collide. Cross Country Christmas. Fangirl. I Sour. Night Shift. I've read five. Oh boy. <laughs> um, so yes, I finished Iced Out last night on Sprinteroonies. Um, gave it 4.5 stars. That book made me suddenly cry. I wasn't ready for it. Um, in case you were wondering, there's a, there's the death of a grandparent in it. And you know, that didn't hit too close to home at all. So, you know, just suddenly sobbing. But overall, also gave it a 4.5 because I enjoyed the characters. I enjoyed our plot. There's no third act breakup. The smut was smutting. The plot was plotting. All of the things that we like to see in a book were in a book, but it didn't have that spark of a five star, you know? Um, so overall, loved the journey. Um, gave Iced Out 4.5. Now, we need to talk about the book that I literally just finished on sprints about, not kidding you, 20 minutes ago. Um, and that's Night Shift by Annie Crown. This is a, uh, college basketball romance now basketball is light because um he's just a basketball player you don't ever see him play basketball so um and it also starts very abruptly with them making out without knowing each other so take that for what you will the smut though the smut is good however the plot and characters are really annoying. So it's only getting a three because it's very mid, very middle of the road, you know? The smut is really what carries it. It's also not 300 pages, so it's short. So you can read that like that. And it's mainly just a lot of annoying pining, miscommunication, talking about how we don't like miscommunication, and then sex. So if that's what you're here for, be my guest. Um, if that's not what you're here for, don't read that. <laughs> um, if you if you want like any logical substance to a character, that book's not it for you. Um, but I, you know, it got the job done. I got that's I I haven't failed our book a day challenge yet, so. Everyone high five. Um, if you're trying this with me, thanks. If you're not, and you're just like, God, this lady's an idiot. Thank you. Um, I am now going to be reading Offside by Avery Keelan. Kellen, don't know how to pronounce her last name um, because I didn't know what to read. And I offered the options up and Naomi said that out of my options, she gave this book five stars. And I was like, oh, brilliant. It's over 500 pages. So I'm starting it tonight. Then we're gonna finish it tomorrow. Um, also, the playlist in that book says that the overall theme... Hi. Would you like to say hello? Oh my goodness, you have food on your face. Um, sorry, hold on one second. Hello, Enfin. Just ate dinner. Hello. 
Hello. It's, oh, you guys are being sniff tested. What do you smell? Do they smell stinky? Mm, can't tell. Get another sniff. They smell delightful. Beautiful. <laughs> Look at him. I'll let you go lick your bowl. Um, so yeah, we're going to start that. Oh, the theme of the playlist is Endgame by Taylor Swift. And <laughs> that sold me right away because I'm like, I want to be your Endgame. I want to be your first string. I want to be your A-team. I want to be your Endgame, Endgame. I hit you like bang. And also, I buried hatchets, but I keep maps of where I put them. So that sold me. And then I look at the rest of the playlist. Overall, some good picks. But then it has false God. And look what you made me do on it. And I said, Nayeli, why didn't you tell me this? Because that, you wouldn't have had to say anything else. And she said, I forgot about it. And I was like, I say no more. So we're reading Offside now by Avery Keelan. I haven't even started it yet. Literally just looked at the playlist. So we're gonna go there. But guys, I do have to end this vlog because it is Sunday and you know, I, a girl's got to edit tomorrow. So with that said, if you guys like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments down below how your week was. Do you have any book recommendations to keep me going during this 25 books in 25 days? Give me, ooh, even better. Give me some like graphic novel recs because graphic novels are gonna come in handy this time. Um, if you like this content, make sure to subscribe. Post a weekly vlog every Tuesday. Originally, you guys were supposed to be getting a betting on you vlog on Sunday next week. My hold for that hasn't come in yet, so I can't give that to you um, until I have it. Um, but there will be a Crimson River and Sable Peak reading vlog coming um, in about a week because uh, Sable Peak comes out on Thursday when you're watching this, so. Oh, really? Do you want to say goodbye to everyone too? Say goodbye. Say thank you for watching. I am Finn. Thank you for watching. I am Finn and now we will Finn gets to go to the vet next week. Yeah. Your breath smells like chicken. <laughs> He's like, don't tell the people. Don't tell the people, mother. We're gonna go. So we love you guys. Don't chew on my watch. Hey, this is very rude. What you're doing is very rude. What you're doing is very rude. <laughs> can I have my hand? I need it so I can end the video. What the? Do you see this? Do you see the attack? That's happening right now. I literally can't pull my arm away. I have a claw in me. He's like, shit, wait, they're all watching. Delightful. Okay, Finn and I are gonna go. We love you guys and we'll see you in the next one. Oh, can I have my hand? Can I have that? Thank you. Goodbye. Say goodbye. He's gonna try to eat me anyways. Bye. Oh, okay. <laughs>